guys and welcome to another quick kit review okay so today we're having a look at a kit from mini art kit number is 38015 it is their 135th scale german civilians 1930s to 40s okay so as you can see the kit contains five figures one elderly female figure one younger female figure, one male, which looks suspiciously like a certain German leader photo that I've seen uh, from the 1930s. One Hitler youth who looks um, fairly old, so you have to be 17, 18 year old Hitler youth. And one German policeman. All right, so he is not a soldier. He is... A German policeman, the kind that you would find in Berlin or any of the major cities. Okay, so that's what you see on the outside. Let's have a look at the rest of the box. So, just a couple of um, other mini art kits. Soviet villagers. These are your German sitting civilians, which also appear in the uh, European tram kit as passengers. Usual warnings about 14 plus, etc. Glue not included. Mini arts address in the Ukraine. On the other side, Ukrainian, Russian, English. Same again. No glue included. 47 parts, etc. etc. Made in the Ukraine. Okay. So, and on the back, you've got your assembly and painting. So the painting is. Would be standardized for the policeman and also the Hitler Youth, but for the other civilians, any color you can think of doesn't necessarily have to have a fawn colored uh, suit, a dark hat. Doesn't grand grandmother here doesn't necessarily have to have a dark coat, and the same goes for the um, other woman. Whatever color you want, really. Down here is your color chart okay so it's Vallejo, Testers, Tamiya, Hanbrol, Ravel, Mr. Color, Life Color and on the end you just got the color listed and the Ukrainian um, translation okay fairly straightforward this... fairly straightforward this kit did come out in I believe 2013 initially this is just a rebox with slightly different box it's also included in mini arts um, mercedes-benz 170v personen wagon kit which is uh 35095 which also came out in 2012 all right so let's have a look and see what we have in the box and opening box one bag with the sprues and that's it okay instructions sprues all right so knife apologies for the sound of the plastic i find it quite annoying sometimes try to be as quiet as possible okay so one two sprues very simple not even instructions okay this is just the sprue layouts with the relative numbers on the sprue so you can construct the figures all right so that's fairly straightforward let's have a look all right so first up this is grandmother walking cane the face and as you can tell there's a bit of flash on this the face leaves a lot to be desired. It's very masculine. All right, so this is a problem. I'll try and get that in focus where. It's definitely not a female nose, although I guess it could be, but it is extremely masculine. And at a distance, grandmother, unfortunately, looks like <sighs> Einstein, okay? That's the problem. 
and that's a problem I see with a lot of uh, kits let's have a look at the other woman again that is a very masculine face okay so this is a problem you see all the time when it comes to female figures they end up with extremely masculine faces and very similar okay so yeah I would uh, if possible ditch the heads for some resin replacements or something like that okay so that's the women women let's have a look at the men so the clothing detail is quite good not super sharp as in like a dragon kit but you could get away with it okay you do have an alternative head and um, hat for the policeman all right so that's not too bad but there is flash okay along the mold lines I don't know if you can see it I will give you stills of these anyway and the faces well if that's an 18 year old Hitler youth he's very mature looking for his age all right the others you can see they have got flash around the face and the head and the features are not too bad but if possible I would definitely ditch the um, female heads for resin replacements or something else they definitely don't look very female okay apart from that you can see the flash on the arms there I'd say mini art on this one yeah their kits are great they're very detailed but the molding on this not yeeha still for a bunch of civilians a bit of clean up around the arms around the joints etc background civilians or whatever should be not too bad okay too bad okay so as I said short and sharp okay um, not much else to say about this it's a five-figure kit of civilians from Germany you could get away with I think grandmother younger woman possibly even the man here um in almost any civilian setting france poland hungary wherever okay the others definitely not anyway like i said quick review all right as far as the figures are concerned they um fill a void but yes the female faces especially leave a lot to be decided okay anyway brings us to the end of this one hope you got something from it and until next time take it easy